In this video, we are going to pit the level 1 float rod, the first rod that you get in Fishing Planet, versus the largest fish in the game, the Nile Perch of the Congo River. Now, if you're wondering, yes, back in the day, this was actually fairly simple to do. You could just throw the rod over the, well, the, the bobber and the bait over the edge of the boat, and uh, something would come along, and you could just pull it straight up. You wouldn't have to fight it at all. But since then, Fishing Planet has patched that, making this much harder to accomplish. So, if you're looking forward to seeing how we pull this off, then please consider hitting the like button, subscribing if you haven't already, packing your tackle boxes, and I'll raise the stakes. If this video hits a thousand likes, I'll let all of you choose what the next challenge fish will be, everyone. But without further ado, let's get into it, everybody. So I wanted to start off here by saying I'm using the four pound line, which Fishing Planet prompted us with a warning that the float in large minnow would break us off while casting with the four pound line. But I tested this at Lone Star before traveling to the Congo and it worked just fine. My initial plan was that I could potentially use the level one 14 foot nine inch telefloat rod with a reel with a high recovery, such as the Griffin Spod 10,000. Then using the kayak, I could let the perch pull me around until we eventually caught up with it, bing bang bibbity bang and it's in the boat. Problem with this idea was that even at the lowest drag setting, the Griffin Spod 10,000 was still way too strong for the line and rod and would break us off pretty much as soon as we hooked up. Switching to the level one mini spin 800, I paddled out to my perch location with the kayak yet again, hoping that this time it would work as planned. And both luckily and unluckily, what I hoped would happen did kind of happen. We hooked up with the Nile Perch and then proceeded to be tugged around the Congo River for a little less than 20 minutes before the perch went beyond the boundary of the fishing map and broke us off at 346 feet. I tallied this failure to two different factors. First, the perch didn't necessarily travel in a straight line. It would go from side to side in the channels of the river which made catching up to it in the kayak very difficult. Fishing Planet also had a very difficult time figuring out how the kayak and rod should move while fighting this uh, perch for some reason and there was even a moment where we we did like this half barrel roll sort of thing and then got stuck facing the opposite direction and pulling up the rod at this point like had the opposite effect like if you pulled the rod up like it would move the rod towards the fish which like let down the tension it was the weirdest thing dude but i just kept thinking about like if there was some sort of like druggy fish that had like psychedelic powers that could like switch up your controls you know for like a monster fish for halloween or something i just thought that would be super cool <laughs> you're reeling in this fish and then all of a sudden it's like it's right click and left click switches and now you're reeling in with right click or something and and pulling up i don't know there's there's options they could do it just made it it just made it interesting to think about the second issue was that the drag of the reel was just too darn weak to allow the fish to pull the kayak too often, the line would just get pulled out like 5 meters a second, while the kayak was being pulled at like 2 meters a second. This disproportion between the equipment and the fish made the kayak pulling maneuver more difficult to pull off. Similar to the kayak, my third idea was to use the trolling motor of a boat to try and chase down the fish instead of letting the kayak go wherever it wanted. This did not go as well as I had hoped as I proceeded to break three different reels and two rods attempting this method. I eventually came to the conclusion that the only way I was going to be able to catch the biggest fish in the game was by like targeting the smallest version of the biggest fish in the game. So switching to one odd hook, still with large minnows, mind you, I flicked out the bait with the flow rod. Now specifically, I flicked out the bait. I didn't cast it. I wanted to use the flick because I figured if they had a minimum uh, distance that they wanted the bait to be out from yourself before a fish came and uh, you know started nibbling at it or something, they would at least make it the, uh, the, the amount that you flicked the rod out. I'm literally just flicking it out and that is the distance I fished from. In this case with this rod it was 31 feet away from me in the boat. Soon came the familiar ding of an interested fish. I readied myself and as soon as I saw the float go under chased after it as fast as I could. The number went down to 20 and disappeared as I pulled out an African sharp tooth catfish. I was just bewildered. I didn't know. 
I'm just thinking about it just makes me upset. Considering this method was at least working, I tossed out the bait yet again. It was a delicate balance fishing this way. You could definitely tell that if you rushed the bait too soon after the initial ding, the fish would be scared away. However, if you could time it just right so that the bobber was stopped in essentially just milliseconds before going under, you could at least get the boat starting to teeter forward as you hooked up on the fish. Now with the bait out again, I waited for a familiar ding, followed by the the bobber going under. I raced towards the fish as fast as I could, and as I pulled up the slack from this initial hit, the white belly of a Nile perch came bursting out of the water. Now, 42 pounds is in no way a large Nile perch, but it is indeed the largest fish species you can catch in the game. Besides the fighter shark, of course, but you know, that's that's something different. All in all, it took about an hour and 20 minutes, but I greatly appreciated fishing with other people like you on the map, which made completing the challenge just that much more fun. But that's gonna do it for this episode, everyone. Like I said, if you wanna have a word in on what we're gonna be challenging next, make sure you hit a like, thousand likes is the goal, and comment down below what you would like to see me go after in the future. Really appreciate you all being here, and if you wanna join us, live streams every Monday, Wednesday, 7.30 to 9.30 p.m. Central, make sure to do so. And if you haven't checked out the Modern Day Outdoors vignette, I'm just gonna throw down the little hint that you're gonna miss out on a lot of cool stuff coming in the future, so make sure you do it now before you get called a bandwagoner. Take care, everyone, and we'll see you in the next video. And as always, remember everyone, we're one planet, one family, game on.